Hello, in this video we're given a discrete probability distribution and we are going to answer a couple of questions regarding probability from this distribution. The first thing that I see is that this distribution here has a missing value. So that's going to be the very first thing that we want to take care of is we want to figure out what is this probability value. We know that with a probability distribution all of these probability values must add up to one. So if you go ahead and grab your calculator and you do one minus what all of these values added up equals, that will give us that missing number that we're looking for, okay? So again, add up all those values and then subtract it from one, or you can do it all at once into your calculator just like this. So now we can answer this question of, what is the probability of selling eight muffins in a given day? Well, number of muffins sold is in the top of the table, so that's eight and we just calculated that missing value. So notice the notation here, we are using probability notation, and in this discrete probability chapter, we are denoting um, with the random variable here, x, so we were looking at x equal to eight, so eight muffins, and this is saying exactly eight muffins, no more, no less, is equal to 0.19, because that's the probability value, and then if you're in my class, we always like to interpret that answer so what we're going to do is we're going to take that decimal value probability and multiply it by 100 to get it into percent notation. So there's a 19% chance of selling eight muffins in a given day. What is the probability of selling 40 muffins? So I'm going to come up to my probability distribution and I'm looking for 40 muffins and I do not see it in the probability distribution. It is not a possible random variable for this distribution. So that means that this probability is zero. It's impossible, not, not gonna happen. So the probability that X is equal to 40 is equal to zero. There is a 0% chance of selling 40 muffins in a day. The next question said, what is the probability of selling zero or 16 muffins? So as I'm reading that, I wanna see in the table where zero or 16 is. What we're going to do is we're going to add those together, add up all the total possibilities that it's zero and that it's 16. So my notation over here is the probability that it's zero or 16 is equal to us adding up the probability that it's zero and adding up the probability that it's 16. And so we saw in the table that that's 0.14 plus 0.18. And if we grab our calculator, that's going to give us 0.32. So that means that there is a 32% chance of selling zero or 16 muffins in a day. Next question says, what is the probability of selling at least 24 muffins? So when we read that, we need to think about what does that mean for the probability? Well, this is the symbol that we're using here for the at least symbol. Okay, so X is at least or is greater than or equal to 24. So at least means that I could have 24. It could be 24, and it could be anything after that. Okay, so in our probability distribution, we only have 24 and 32. So we're gonna add up those two probability values, and that's 0.38 plus 0.11, and we get 0.49, so there's a 49% chance of selling at least 24 muffins in a day. What is the probability of selling at most eight muffins. So again, we want to just think about what does that mean at most eight muffins? It means everything before that number can still be, and it can still be that number at most. So I could still have eight with that option. So that means that we are going to add the probability that X is equal to zero, and we're going to add the probability that X is equal to eight. So 0.14 plus 0.19 will give us 0.33 and that means that there is a 33% chance of selling at most eight muffins 